Ooh, that is a long story. It starts a while ago,、um, I don't know, 40, 50 years ago, when some sort of unrest was happening in El Salvador. A lot of people were, it was basically a war, a civil war that happened there, and they fled a lot to America. Well, some people from El Salvador got to America and started getting wrapped up in some, some gang sort of members, some sort of like、uh, groups that were maybe not. <laughs> Law abiding 100%,、mm-hmm. um, putting it kindly. And when they got in trouble, these people who were now gang members were sent back to El Salvador. And that's when some issues started to arise because they went back, they had this gang mentality, supposedly. And with El Salvador being such a dangerous place at the time, they got even more hardened and more into that sort of violent nature. And that created this sort of hot spot for very violent gang members、um, to just run wild almost.、Mm-hmm. So、uh, recently, El Salvador kind of got sick of that, <laughs> decided to build basically, I think it was the world's largest prison, right?、Mm-hmm. One of the, One of the world's largest prisons. I wonder if America has the largest. I really, I, I think, that, I'm just going to guess that they do, but if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Anyways, one of the world's largest prisons, and now they are bringing the hammer down. Gloves are coming off. They're getting angry. They're, they're just, any sort of sense of、uh, justice is thrown out the window, and just they're arresting people for looking like they could be a gang member.、Mm-hmm. What's unfortunate for that, in one way, is that innocent people could be arrested. What is also fortunate in one way is that the people who are on the streets causing violence are now being put into jail by the droves. I don't know if that's it's fortunate for some people.、Mm. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but、mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah,、uh, a lot of people think that's a good thing, even if some innocents are kind of thrown under the bus.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's where it is as now.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I couldn't help but think about、mm-hmm. Duarte. When I read、yeah. this article,、mm. you know, the, the serious crackdown on crime, the、mm. uh, mm. sort of、uh, suddenly the police become super empowered to arrest、yeah. just about anyone for just about anything. And, you know, it's a crackdown on crime, but a lot of innocent people、mm. are perhaps getting caught up in it and being sent to prison、yeah. when they don't deserve to.、So. Pros and cons. And pros and cons, yeah. A lot of cons if you're the innocent person.、Mm. Yeah, yeah, I can't. Nothing upsets me more than injustice.、Mm-hmm. And for an innocent person to go to jail just makes my blood boil. Would you rather live in a country with high crime but completely free、mm-hmm. or very strict but very safe? Oh, gosh, it's、right、such、now. a hard one.、Mm-hmm. I guess I'm not a particularly tough person. Maybe I'm overestimating <laughs> myself, but I'm going to go for high freedom,、mm-hmm. high crime.、Mm-hmm. Because、um, the alternative, the, the zero freedom and zero、mm. crime, is life worth living? True,、mm. you're safe, but you can't do anything、yeah. that you want to do. And、yeah. you're so limited in the little box.、Yeah. That doesn't sound like real life at all. So、yeah. I might live a shorter life with the, the high crime rates, but、yeah. at least I'd have some kind of life before I got murdered by somebody. Yeah, and I think there's like a balance too, because I was thinking about this. If it was high crime rates to the point where you were scared to leave your house, then it's kind of the same as、mm-hmm. having no freedom. I guess.、Yeah. But,、uh, you know, if we take America as an example, then、um, you can see that there are quite high crime, crime rates in a lot of cities,、mm-hmm. but there's also quite high freedom, and people have decided that that's kind of the balance they want.、Mm-hmm. Um, and the balance comes with sometimes owning weapons. <laughs> The balance comes with ignoring it.、Uh, the balance comes with you know, arguing without any conclusion. But yeah, in the end, I have to pick higher crime, higher safety as well. You mean higher crime, higher freedom? Thank you.、Mm-hmm. Higher crime, higher freedom because I need my freedom. In what ways does、uh, the history of civil war affect a country's culture and crime rates? Because a big factor in this article that、yeah. they talked about was the fact、uh, that El Salvador had this huge civil war, which kind of kicked off the、yeah. process in the beginning. Well, I mean, this happened hundreds of years ago, but not, yeah, kind of a couple, I guess a couple hundred years ago. But, anyways, America had a civil war too. And、um, there's still effects from it.、Mm-hmm. 
like there's effects from the culture. The culture down in the South is a lot different than the culture everywhere else in America, pretty much. And there's um, tension because of it. There's also poverty rates that are higher because of it. There's also sort of laws that are different and um, illegal things or sometimes legal things that should be illegal that happen because of it. So yeah, it affects countries for generations, not just recently, but for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. um, crime rate, of course, is gonna go up because people are fighting. Mm -hmm. They don't like each other. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Any negative group dynamics yeah. yeah, it's going to cause more arguments, which lead yeah. to more fights. Let's try to perk our moods back up by studying the vocabulary. And the reason it'll help your mood is because you'll use English in a good way and people will be very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, don't throw out the vocabulary out the window. Just go ahead and keep it inside and use it when you can. And we'll see you in the next one. Hey day. Hey day. Deport. Deport. Returnee. Returnee. Sitting duck. Sitting duck. Go out the window. Go out the window.